when a sheriff's deputy responded to a 911 hang-up. Hi! What? Come here. The situation quickly spiraled out of control. Prompting officers from all over to provide backup. We'll take a close look at how the police deal with a barricaded suspect who has lost all reason. And answer the age-old question. What's hotter, scorching Pringles or pepper spray? Is it, is it hot? On June 18th, 2022, at approximately 2.11 p.m., an officer with the Dunn County Sheriff's Office, accompanied by a civilian ride-along, arrived at the rural residence of a 911 hang-up call. The officer intended to investigate, but what happened next caught everyone off guard. Hi. What? Come here. On your knees now. No. Come here. You'll be tased. Stop. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get down. Get down. County. We're in Raleworth, yeah. 30 County, myself, 207, and 217, or 23. Please help me! Please help me! Hey, come here! Come here! At this point, the officer deployed pepper spray. However, it seemed to have more impact on the officer than it did the suspect. You two stand from my car. Get in the car. Cover the east side. Don't mail. What's up? You got a guy upstairs? Yeah. What do you do, Kyle? Take a minute. Group yourself. What happened? Show up. Yeah. Okay. Let me get Ranger. What did he do? Let me get. Hold on. Just regroup. Just regroup. What happened? Yes. One bail upstairs. Do you want to cease for you? No idea. I got residual. Okay. Residual will cease for you. One bail upstairs. Let me grab Ranger. Come down here now. K9. Come down. K9 is coming in. Sheriff's office. Is there any firearms in the house? Any guns in the house? Apparently, there's a fight here. Who, who called you? I did. There was a 911 call from this residence. Who is the male that ran upstairs? Anthony something. Is Anthony Rock here? I, Watch out. I, I think I know. He is. He is. Okay. 16 car, can you run Anthony Rock? Anthony, time to come out! Hey, ma'am, could you come out on the... Come on out here. What was he supposed to do? Come on out here. Well, he just fought with an officer, so we got a problem. Why don't we just have a seat right over there? Yep, come on over here. She's okay. still on a no contact here. A no contact order is a court order issued by a judge prohibiting an individual from having contact with another and is enforceable by law. The terms of a no contact order can vary widely depending on the circumstances and the judge who issued it. Violating such an order usually results in fines, misdemeanor, or felony charges, and even jail time. I'd imagine. He's way high, way drunk. And guns, knives. Wagon. 
Lagan. Lagan. I'll take a date card. Anthony, Sheriff's Office, K-9 is in the house. You're going to get bit. Come down here with your hands up now. Is that the only way to the upstairs? Two thirty. We have multiple subjects in the house. Two thirty. Jeez. Three. We got twelve. Okay. How many? How many okay. people are in the house? Still three people in here. Okay. Well. Yeah. Three normally. Hey, ma'am. Somebody else is here. Sheriff's office. All occupants of the house. Hey, ma'am. Step out here now oh, with your hands up. Well, we'll explain it to you. But have a seat right here, okay? Sheriff's office K-9, you upstairs, come out now with your hands in the air. Or I send a dog and you won't be back. We have the north, northeast cover. Cut movement. Dog coming, dog coming, dog coming. I have the northeast correct. Sheriff's office, step to the back door now. Uh... I can hear, I can hear some voices. Yep, that's my part. Come down the steps now with your hands up! All occupants, come down! I can hear talking. Do we got this? Um, supposedly. Are there any weapons in this house? She says no. Grandma says no, but with the characters that are out here, that's not. Fair. Can you return? No. It's not a uh, high and light. Oh, this is awesome. Yes. Yes. Sheriff's office! Whoever's up there, come down now! You are surrounded! <laughs> If it was just him, I would. Oh, just hold on. Yeah, it was just him. Yeah. 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 You can see you at the time, 1-8 and 1-8. You are surrounded. Come down now. Or you will be bit. I'm not sure, but we'll fill you in on everything, uh, ma'am. So her and Anthony were in the back here. Uh, he was being very aggressive, very uh, hostile. Turned around, saw me. I'm like, hey, come here so I can talk to you. Turns around, tries to run. Taser, struggle. Drive stun, not effective. Um, OC, I switched to OC, hoping that would affect. Uh, then he barricaded, and then he ran in, barricaded himself, so I knew you guys were close, so I was gonna race into the house here. Ten more, I have a shield. Just inside, just inside my back. Driver's side, driver's side door. It's folded up. What? Is it just him upstairs? I could hear. It? There was a female talking. They yeah. talked to her and the dude in front of my squad, and they said there's uh, Anthony and two others. It sounds like. Who's up there besides them? I don't know. I assume they're probably trying to find hiding spots. Hey ma'am, is the stairs over off the living room? Roger that. 16, 17. New units have them cover the south. There's another set of stairs. Okay. Hey, there's a second set of stairways. The first is going to go to the south, the next is going to cover for me, and then I'll join you in a sec. Sheriff's office, come on up yeah, now! Ma'am, you, you need to go, okay, but you need to go sit outside, okay? What? You need to go sit outside because we have a canine dog. We don't want you to accidentally get bit. People upstairs! So, Come time to go outside, on, okay? You need to go outside, ma'am. Ma'am. If, if I can go nope, upstairs, I can... Nope, we can't nope. have that. We can't let you go outside. Can I We can hear you moving up there. Calm down now with your hands up! This house is surrounded! 230 County. Called 219. She's the closest car.
ma'am. Can, can, I, can no. I just sit here? No, you need to sit outside. You need to go outside. You need to go outside, otherwise you're going to have to stay in that squad car because we can't keep watching you, okay? Yeah, the female's <laughs> Pam with the red shirt. That's why she's outside, so. She is outside? Yes, she's Where fine. Just sit down, ma'am. Where is she? I'm not sure. She's with other cops. Sit down now. Do it now. We'll go verify who we have outside and talk to those people and see. Yep. Well, yep. <laughs> All right, Pam, right? No. 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 Who are you? I'm Cass. Cass? Yeah. Cass who? Do you want to, since there's only two of us, do you want to pull back to the door? Yeah, maybe. Yep. Yeah. I think it's coming right there. Right here. Fuss. 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 Yeah. Who all is in the house? Kern, 78-year-old lady. Well, 78-year-old lady, who else? And Pam. So Pam, Tony. Anthony. Anthony. Anthony's the one I was fighting with? Yeah. So Anthony and Pam. And then, yeah. Yep, okay. Watch these two if they run. Um, note where they're coming from. And then grab that black microphone and we'll hear ya. Huh? Yeah. Alright, canine's here, so stay put. Is it just Anthony upstairs? I have no idea. You don't know who was here with you? No? Okay. What? You don't know who was all here with you? Pam was. Okay. And my son Anthony. Okay. And then one other male? Okay, it was just you four then? As far as you know? So. Okay. Hey ma'am. Everybody out there in front of my in front of the garage if you want to go see him. Okay. Pam or something. Yep. So just head right over there. You'll see him. Three oh two just passed us. Well then just hang tight there, okay? Pam is up there? Was she one that was outside? Thank you. Was, that, was she outside before? No. Okay. What we're going to need to do is get somebody else in to come cover those other stairs. Yep. And then we'll use one primary set of stairs. Okay. I don't know which set of stairs is going to be safer for us to use, but... 17. How many units do we have? Do we have enough for a predator? So we don't have them jump out? Because when we next one in here, please. Thank you, three of you just showed up. Once one more gets there, I'll join you. Yeah, I didn't realize you were here already. I was going to clear as soon as I got him out of handcuffs and come up here. up on the way, the officers planned how they would safely move upstairs and confront the suspect. Um, judging by the demographics of the house, I bet you that one would be an L, and that one would be more straight until it gets to right off the... Yeah, it's a loft there is the only issue. Oh, it is? Yeah. I'm sure those are like old farmhouse stuff, so probably skinny and... Yeah, probably. Deep. So you think with the shield we're better off going that one? No, I think that one. Do we have somebody on that side? Is 
Sheriff's office, you're completely surrounded! Is Anthony not supposed to be here? <laughs> well, I thought before he was out on a bond not to be here. Well, let me go upstairs. No, we can't let you go up. Sheriff's office, we're not going anywhere! The outside of the house is completely surrounded! Sheriff K-9 is on scene! Come down now or you will get bit! I can't recall, is Tony a gun guy? I don't know. Methamphetamine oh. user. Well, it's dirty up here. Good boy. Good ranger. Come on. Somebody's moving. Sheriff's office! The outside of the house is completely surrounded! We're not going anywhere! You're under arrest! Come down now, or you will be dead! Sheriff's office! Uh, outside the house is completely surrounded! You're all under arrest! Or please came in! Go back! No. Wag him. Whoever's on the driveway side, elderly female is coming your direction to be with the others. Just keep an eye on her. She wants to go upstairs. You are surrounded! Who's talking all through the window? Ham. Ham's talking outside the top window. There's somebody talking out the window though? Yeah. Who's talking to? Who's no, talking that's to? Gilbertson and that's uh, 302 out there. Yeah, no, but they're talking yeah, they're to somebody. 23186, who are you in contact with? Stairs should be right around the corner, Kyle. Okay, there's actually a double stair. One there double stair? Yep, one yeah, so we're going to have to hold on one and go on one. Okay, we have uh, six 13s right here, I and mean, then there's two city units. Okay. They're training. Are we got this whole area covered? I got one on the back, six 13 is out here, and then um, Gildy's right outside here. So. Hey, Sam, you see you. See you, Tom. Go ahead. Go ahead. Call you back. This is verbal contact with Pamela, who is in the middle of the house in her room. Tell her to come down or she's going to get bit. Tell her to come down or she's going to get bit. Pam, come down now! This isn't a question! Okay, one comment I can hear coming down steps. There's another set of steps over there, yeah? Come down, Pam, with your hands up. With nothing in them. Come this way. Where's Anthony? What room? Bathroom. Come this way. Come this way. Any guns or knives up there that you know of? Come this way. Come this way. Okay. Come this way. Do you know him to normally be a knife or gun guy? Knife or gun guy? Knife, yeah. You need to come down here. She's out here fine. You need to come down here first, and then you can talk to him. We will promise you that. Let's move up here. Anthony, you're under arrest. This isn't time yet for negotiation. Do as we say, or you will get bit. I want my attorney. I want a doctor. We're not. Well, come reason. down here, and we will get you a doctor. But you got to come down here, man. No. Anthony, you're going to end up getting bit. We got the dog in here. Can confirm he's the only one up there. Come on down here! No. I want my attorney. I want to speak to Pam's attorney. Come on down here and we can work on that. We are not working on it. I don't know you. I will speak only to people I know. Well, I'm Sergeant Mayor. I've met you before. I don't care. And I've treated you fairly before, so let's come down here and let's talk. I'd rather have you come. Just come down here. No! You need to come down here. I need to speak to my attorney. He will instruct me. Okay. Well, I do. No. Anthony, I do not want to see you get hurt. Okay? That's my main goal here. 
I don't want to see anybody here get hurt. But you need to come down here, okay? Come on down here. You need to come down here. Anthony, we're not going to go anywhere. So let's just make it easier on all of us so no one gets hurt. You are in my house and you are not invited. Come show us your hands, okay? You show me why I'm being arrested supposedly. Come on down here. Go. You are under arrest, so you need to come down here. Under what charge? Right now, we're Come on down here, let's just talk. Let's talk, come on down here. Tony, the whole the outside of the house is surrounded. We have about 20 cops and a dog. We don't want anyone to get hurt, you included. Come down without anything in your hands so we can talk. Go on, boy. Tony, we're not going to magically disappear. Really? Oh, that's news. You can come on down here, okay? And then you can talk to your mom. My mother is the authority of this house, and she and she alone will decide what I what I will or will not Well, do. she told me she wants you to come down. I don't want to send them. We, I think we we have we've reached that level to be able to send them. So yeah, yeah. He's in a very uh, aggressive state, probably. Yeah, you want to up on yeah. that? I'm just saying we've reached that chain of yeah progression. Yeah. We haven't got any uh, verbal response. No, probably a minute or two. Anthony, sheriff's office, police, you are under arrest. Come down now with nothing in your hands and your hands up. We have K9 on scene. You will be bit if you do not comply now. How does it work? Do you just let them run up and we fall behind? Well, I'll let him go free. I'm guessing if he's if he's in the bedroom. The door's shut, he'll sit there and scratch and mark at the door. He's in the bathroom, she said. He'll be in the bathroom. At least he was when she so came down. at that point, we'll have... We got felony charges? Well, I mean, he resisted. It was a verbal, verbal domestic from what I saw. He was yelling, screaming in her face. Um, he took off on me, struggled. I mean... I think this cuts from the when I grabbed the uh, shield. Under the circumstances, I hate to just release. I can keep Ranger on on lead on long line, and, and that way I still have control of them, and we can move up as I clear with long line. That's true. And how long is the long line? Well, I got a longer one than this. That's like twenty feet. How you want to do it, Corey? Uh, with the shield, obviously, do, do you want the lead? Yeah, well, you stay with me, we'll let him go on lead, but you stay close to me. With the lead, though? Yeah, call. He just heard 43 for yeah. city. I'm just coming through the north end. Let me go grab his hearts and stuff. Okay. Here. Come on. Here. Come in. Have we determined who made the 911 call yet? Not a clue. Why don't we go talk to Pam and figure out what exactly was all going on here? 
people. You know, we got just misdemeanors. I'm not gonna let the dog up there and I'm probably gonna just let him be here. Is there still a no contact? Two sixteen county, is there still a no contact for Anthony? Sixteen, seventeen. the other female, uh, the one that we didn't recognize out there, she's the one that I believe was uh, in confrontation with them. Can you ask her and uh, kind of figure out in the nutshell? So the confrontation was with that other female? I believe so. Where is that, Val? Yes. Four of them on one felony, three misdemeanor. The whole contact with P is a misdemeanor, but it's also tied to the felony. Okay. We're not going to let the dog off the leave because we don't have a felony. Uh, felony, uh, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so obviously we want the dog right there. Right. In case yeah. you don't want to cooperate. Yeah, then I'll send him. Then we're going to send him. Yep. Um, but uh, he's not supposed to be in contact with any of these people. We're not in cooperation. We've went through the. I, we, I mean, Taser was a de effective, OC was an effective, so now. Yeah. And I think we got fresh pursuit even though we're holding on him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Because we're going to go back to. Okay. Now! You listen or you're gonna get bit. Understand? Step up here now! Now! Anthony, step up here now! We're not asking, we're telling you, do it now. We don't want you to get hurt. Step up here. Step out of the tub right now. Step out of the tub. We'll give it time. Come on, take it. Let's go. Stand up. Turn the water off. This isn't a debate. We've given you plenty of time. Let's go. Come on. Step up. I don't want to see you get bit. I don't want to see you get hurt. I don't want to see you get shot by this foam round either. It's going to hurt. Okay? So it's time to step up. The foam round hurts way more than a taser or OC. I promise you. And we don't want you to see you get hurt. Bring another officer up here. I think we're just going to grab him and yank him. Do you have an extra set of... Do you need gloves? Rubbers? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anthony, I don't want to see you get bit, man. Let's have... We need somebody that doesn't have a long gun so we can make contact here. Anthony. Anthony, step on out. Come on. Yeah, don't be done before you come out. Anthony, wake up. Are you on? Are you on up or down? Are you on down or up? Tony. You two don't have anything. Glad to make contact. Okay. Come on, Anthony. Come on. Let's 
scale here where we got to go ahead. Are you on up or down? Huh? You're under arrest at this point. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Open the channel. Where are you on, dude? What's your arm? Are you a heroin? Or mass? Got anything on you besides wet clothes? Then what's his name? Then he will be was it his recent only fentanyl release mask? I'm gonna roll you to the side so that I can check you. Do not kick oh, him. Was he Do you with? understand me? No, I'm just saying the one in the Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That would explain why he's up and now he's down. Uppers such as meth or cocaine are stimulants, while downers such as alcohol or heroin act as depressants. When taken together, one drug can mask the effects of the other increasing the odds of overdose and unpredictability of the user's behavior. Here, let's roll him this other way. Let's check him. Oh. Wake up, dude. Okay. What are you on? So we can help you. We can get him out of the house. Yeah. Let's uh, extricate him out of the house. Yeah, that might actually not be a terrible idea. Either. Hey, uh, Emmer, can you do a check negative? There's no, uh, sensory needles, baggies, sure. anything like that. Thank you, sir. Did you take anything so we know how to help you? Tony. Anthony, did you take any drugs today? Okay. Anthony, did you take any drugs today? Tony, we need to help you, so you need Tony, to tell did us. Did you take any drugs today? Well, he's smiling, so he's with it. I love you, Bob. Once the suspect was secured with EMS, officers interviewed the other occupants of the house. No one claimed yeah. responsibility for dialing 911. Okay. Uh, no, um, it was an on open call. They couldn't hear nothing. Yeah. And police were unsuccessful in their attempts to find out what drug, if any, the suspect ingested that could explain his erratic behavior. He's not being charged with possession of nothing because we don't have nothing on, but so the EMS can, because he's messed up, is so they know how to treat him if they, if he needs Narcan or something, is he meth, heroin, or both? I couldn't tell you. I really don't know that. However, Officer Kyle was able to determine what's hotter, scorching Pringles or pepper spray. Is it, is it hot? <laughs> Not as warm as the pepper spray. According to court documents, the suspect pled guilty to a felony charge of attempting to disarm a peace officer and a misdemeanor bail jumping charge. A felony bail jumping charge and the charge of resisting arrest were both dropped. He was ordered to serve 60 days of jail time, maintain absolute sobriety during his incarceration, and pay fines totaling over $1,000. According to court documents, he has been arrested multiple times for misdemeanors ranging from domestic disturbance to operating a vehicle while intoxicated. You might recognize John from our last video. He is a retired police officer after being a police officer for multiple decades. Thank you for joining us, John. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So in regards to this video, uh, we have a couple questions that we'd like you to like to get your input over. Uh, the first one is one thing the public might not realize is just how rare these events are. And in your extensive 25 year history as a police officer, how many times did you deploy a taser or pepper spray? And what was it like? Did you ever get pepper sprayed or tasered yourself out in the field? Well, fortunately, I've never had to deploy my taser. I used to have to red dot a lot of a lot of uh, aggressive, you know, um, arrests that I had to take into custody. But as soon as they see the red dot, they comply. Thank goodness. Um, as far as um, the pepper spray, I pepper sprayed probably a few people. Um, it is effective, you know, um, 
not a good experience, but um, it is effective when, when um, you know, you have to use it. I had a few incidences where people wanted to, you know, fight me, you know, and I had to implement pepper spray. Um, as far as me being pepper sprayed, I was pepper sprayed, um, unfortunately, by another officer. Um, I responded to a fight on the highway and he tried to, you know, fight us. And my partner at the time, he took out his pepper spray and used it, but it was windy that day. So oh, no. <laughs> When all in the and the funny the, the funny thing you know because cops have a sense of humor and um, I uh, all I had on me was iced tea at the time so I literally had to take iced tea and just pour all over my eyes because I was not near water <laughs> it did you know help but um, I did get to a hospital and get flushed and everything but yeah it's it does it it does the job it does it's the job. effective for sure yeah, it's effective, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow um, okay so the the next question I have is uh, a small dog. There's all bark and there's no bite in this situation. Uh, it really doesn't appear to be a fan of these officers, though. Can you share a bit about your experiences, either being surprised by a dog or having to deal with man's best friend? I've never had to deal with a hostile dog, fortunately. Um, usually I have been surprised a few times, but they just want to sniff you, lick you. You, they can Pets usually can tell if you're a danger or not, or there's something about you, but I, I've never had the situation where I was about to be bit. I know officers that have, but me, fortunately, I've never had to deal with that. So that's been good. They just sniff me and, you know, lick me or something, but you know, it's been a good, <laughs> good situation. Thank God. Sounds like a kind of good day though. That <laughs> I got Absolutely. to meet a dog today. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that's all the questions we have for you today, John. Thank you for giving your input. And again, thank you for your service. Thank you. I appreciate it, Harrison.